workers and the possibility of making out Well, as we saw, she planned to share a million of friends, as you know. And uh, the very typical thing is from the uh, Liberal Party and the Liberals have always been the enemy of the working class. They were uh, the party of the petite and grand bourgeoisie. They're the party of landlordism, and they want to uh, basically destroy the work that uh, the socialists uh, have delivered in the Netherlands in building up social rights for the last 150 years. So they're not surprising, but I'm of course against them. As far as squatting is concerned, I'm an anarchist. I don't care if it's forbidden or not. I think that if squatting will get officially forbidden, it will politicize the squatters. But you see here, here is a subcultural event, but in fact we are a political movement. It, it's time for us to remember that, to remember that. So what would you hope to achieve with this demonstration this evening? I think that we, we show ourselves and to the city of Amsterdam uh, what the squatters movement is and what it can do. We're showing that, uh, I mean, as you might have heard, there is no organization behind this party. It was just like a call to action, please come. And all the collectives of the squatters movement came, even people with their animals from the countryside. We have shown that you can organize something yeah, without leaders, without a hierarchy. So that's what we're achieving here. We're showing the rest of the commune in Amsterdam yeah, what they would miss if they force us to fight for a right to squats. Because then we cannot organize so much nice things anymore because we will be forced to be partisans instead of uh, yeah, building the new world. Mm -hmm. I think that the squatters need to reach out to everybody that is a uh, victim of the housing crisis. I think we should not limit ourselves to punks with or without dogs. We should not limit ourselves uh, to, to people that are already politicized or that like our style of culture. I think that we have to reach to out, reach out yes. to all the people that are the victims of uh -huh. precarization. Yes. The victims uh, of I agree. all these policies that uh, take away the rights of people. Housing is not permanent, jobs are not permanent, social security is not guaranteed, even uh, education is not guaranteed anymore. There's so many people who are the victims. We are the anarcho-communist resistance. We have to reach out to them. That's what we should do. I think that people will, will need to politicize. Because squatting is not going to stop. I think as long as there is no houses, people will squat. Look at me. I'm nearly 40 years old. I work. I have a normal job. I behave normally. I never have any contacts with the police except in political actions. And still, I, like, I do everything. Yeah? And still there's no house for me. So, I mean, I'm, I'm not going to sleep on the street. I'm not going to buy a house and be the slave of some mortgage for 100 years. I will resist.
Amish housing markets, like the 200,000 people that are looking for a house only in Amsterdam, and these are only the officially registered. Uh, their only way of of offering any anything to the people is to say we have to prohibit squatting. It's all fake to distract it from the real problems with our, which are caused by their policy. that connection they seem to forget where it come from the socialist parties they're not so red anymore Christian parties they're not so Christian anymore and I think by uh, showing up here today with a lot of squatters we can show that um, actually there's a few movements uh, still alive and they should not forget about that we are still here what we achieve is uh, we're busy every day with it uh -huh. okay. and, uh, this way they'll find out that we're still doing this every day. Some people for their own pleasure try to create a better world. Yeah. 